The following Let's Play has been rated for mature audiences only. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Alright, let's give this a try. So she's been carrying that the whole time. Hunter Gela. Yay! Um... Um... <laughs> You, you need to work on that a little. Hello, everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we had a trial, and then we were found innocent for the destruction of a giant city. Funny how that worked out. Also, Master Faraden decided to show up and gave us a quest to find some sort of magical flame that will give me me some big amount of power or something but there's a little bit of suspicion regarding Master Faraden kind of think of it it was a little suspicious at the beginning of the game when he told us to go hunt for a quest to go to Tomia to handle some curse cuz you know, who sends a student and his dog to deal with a curse? Eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Alright, so I'm supposed to talk to this guy. So I've heard that you were proven innocent. I have something to talk about. Quickly changing the subject. What's the problem? Many of us feared that events like Tolnia will happen again. In fact, we discover strange activity happening over in the Destiade Ruins. The Destiade Ruins? It's an ancient temple that was destroyed by an unknown earthquakes many years ago. Ever since it was destroyed, and since Tomia collapsed, people feared that the earthquakes in those ruins might lead to the collapse of Destiade. So, what do you want us to do? I want you to delve into the, into the Destiade Ruins. If there is anything suspicious, get rid of it, whatever it takes. So, what's in it for us? You stay out of this. You'll find out soon enough. Oh, speaking of suspicious, that sounds definitely suspicious. Is he in league with Master Faraden? Alright, where can we find these ruins? Destiny Ruins are directly east of the city. You can't miss it. I wish you all a safe journey. Okay, let's get moving. Kind of think of it, on our way to Tolmia when we reached the rural map, I started to explore the area but then changed my mind and headed directly to Tolmia. Was there any other stuff that was around on that particular area of world map? Hello there, travelers. You're still not important, huh? Maybe you won't be important. Alright, well, I already explored the town in the last episode, so let's just head directly to wherever we're supposed to go. And the guards say nothing. Ooh. You know, while I'm out here, I'd like to point out that the world map looks a little... plain. At least compared to the world map, the uh, sub-world map that we started off on. I imagine you haven't quite, uh, hadn't quite received, found some custom graphics for this world map yet. Also, how convenient, the ruins are right here. Enter the Destiade Ruins. I like how the feather just swipes down as it goes into the selection. This chest is locked. Wow, a locked chest? There's a sign there. Can I read the sign? I guess I can't. Hey, a new skit. More sigil work. This is becoming a bit redundant. That last one destroyed an entire city. How is that redundant? Hey, look on the bright side. At least we have a reason to actually use these things. No, you have a reason to destroy these things. Regardless, it's becoming a bit of a pain going to ruins just to use a sigil. Destroy. I wouldn't be surprised if we found one in here anyways. Well, at least we know that we have to destroy them instead of activating them. Yes, thank you. 
Well, let's get going before something bad happens. I can't walk over that skeleton. We need to respect whoever that used to be. I see some gaps up ahead. Hmm. I got it. We'll use this device to get across those gaps in the floor. Obtain a grav con unit. What does this do? It allows the users or it allows the user or users to jump across far gaps. Just walk up to one and press the button on the device. The Gravcon unit allows you to jump across gaps that are one tile wide. Just go to, uh, up to a gap and press spacebar Z or enter to jump over it. Alright, let's give this a try. So she's been carrying that the whole time. Hunter Gela. Yay! Um. Um. <laughs> You, you need to work on that a little. <laughs> Minor treat was found. That sounds tasty. Causers 30% max HP and MP to one ally. That is tasty. Looks like Kool-Aid. Imp emerged. It's like a mannequin sort of imp. Alright. I imagine I'll find out what sort of HP this thing has in a bit. Doesn't have a whole lot of HP. Down in four hits. So I'm not going to worry too much about weaknesses. Got a minor potion. Too bad I can't find out what items do from the victory screen. Yeah, this is the thing that recovers everyone's HP by 30%. I'm definitely going to find a good spot to use that at some point. Oh, an even bigger eyeball. In this case, maybe I will use uh, magic. Cremate. Bridget Blast, Pullman Blade, you just use a regular attack. Alright, so it doesn't matter what sort of magic I use against it, it, it it's it. I should about do it. Piece of cake. I could do. I could go some for for some cake, as long as it doesn't have raisins in it. We. You know, I find it interesting that characters can walk diagonally, but you can't. Walking diagonally, not an option. Hmm. Apparently those imps you want to use lightning against if you have to use magic. Don't use fire because that's the weakest. Raisins? Yeah. My grandma knows that I like carrot cake, but she keeps getting a box that has raisins in it as well as carrot. It's no fun. Now the biscuits at Hardee's where it's like cinnamon raisin biscuits, those are awesome. Especially with all that icing on them, oh my goodness. Hey, I got another health bracelet. Don't need it. I've already fully equipped with one. I'm gonna save real quick. I have a fun thing I wanna try. Do that, do that, do that. No, I don't think that's gonna work. And that's a dead end. Is there like um an option that lets you uh, gather party members to yourself? Kind of, I, I imagine that would be a uh, useful in RPG Maker VX Ace whenever you have people jump. Just have everybody suddenly gather to yourself. 
RG, I mean, RG Maker 1 has an option like that, so I gotta imagine that RG Maker VX Ace has a Team Gather option. It's too bad I can't outrun my party members. That'd be funny. Dragon Statue. Probably just for looks. In fact, there's another one. Hey, where'd my team go? Stay away from me. I don't like you. Leave me alone. Level up, new spell, Mana Evasion, and Heated Claw. Let's find out what all this is. Skills? What's a Heated Claw? A Claw skill that attacks with fire. Ooh, elemental specials. Fun. And let's see here. Mana Evasion, a spell that allows allies to evade magic attacks. That sounds useful. How useful, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm definitely going to try that next time I encounter a magical enemy. Hey, new skit. Huff, huff. So much jumping. You're not even jumping. You're just walking across the air. Hey, don't tell me you're giving up already. Well, Sparky, have you ever thought about the other people who haven't done parkour yet? Oh, lighten up, people. This stuff is fun. Arf, arf. That makes three people. Sigh. You people are too energetic these days. You don't seem like an old person, guys. Except for that stubble. Your portrait is younger than your stubble. Or your portrait is... Your portrait has no stubble. Sorcery shard. Increase my magic. Yeah, I know who I'm putting on that. A primary magic user. And... A magical shard. Okay. Oh, increases MP. Hmm... You. This save point is different color than the others. Heal. This heal point is a different color than the others. Party fully recovered. Well, it's not dangerous or anything. Alright, I bet there's a sigil up here. And I'm moving automatically. Ooh, there's even baby sigils. There's another sigil. These things are getting common. This one is active. We should neutralize it before it does anything to Destiade. We don't want this to become the next Tolmia. Wait, something's coming. It's a Guardian. Well, I guess it's time to take out the trash. Let's get to it. Alright, time for a real boss fight. Jorenth. Why does it have two J's at the start of his name? What purpose does that extra J have? <sighs> the first thing I'm going to do is... This only works on one ally? You're Ranthi? You're Ranthi. If you say so. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just vitalize everyone. Vitalize yourself. Magic, vitalize yourself. Magic, vitalize yourself. Alright, so far he's not much of a threat. Uh, use a little bit of magic. Find out if he has any special weaknesses.
126, 111. No, nothing in particular. Prefer to use lightning. Capper Fox and given a new graphic. Well, you're using a side view battle system now, so I imagine it would have a new graphic. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if I should use this um, mana evasion thing, but he hasn't used any magic yet, so I'll just kind of sit here and see what happens. It's kind of painful, I'll tell you that. Somebody caused only a hundred damage. I wish I knew who it was because I could have that person heal. I'm gonna assume it was you. Heal. Yep, it was Ilshia. 8,000 HP. It's only a matter of time before we hit an enemy that goes into five digits. Hmm, accurate shot isn't working too well. Let's use Fulman Blade. And you need to recover TP. Yeah, that's better. He can use magic. He can use, well, he, I don't know how much magic, but he can make people fall asleep. That's a thing. I imagine if this is like most RPGs, that he'd wake up, or she'll wake up if she's attacked physically. Do I want to wait for that? I don't feel like it. I got things that wake people up. Might as well use them. Okay, good, that didn't work. It would be kind of annoying if I woke somebody up only for you to put people back to sleep. Alright, already halfway through this fight. Ooh, nice. As far as HP goes, this guy's got the right amount to me. This seems to be taking him out quickly enough. That dragon fight, on the other hand, that dragon definitely had a little too much HP. I think he could have had a little less. Not the dragon on the ship, the... Yavarlo Consignum dragon. That green dragon. That's something you gotta be careful about whenever when it comes to boss battles. You don't want to give him too much HP. Yeah, it makes a fight a little bit more difficult, but there comes a point during a fight where things stop being difficult and start being tedious. It gets to the point where it's like, oh, just die already. Yeah, this boss is I'm already down to a third of his health, so this boss is fine. As far as magic goes, this guy doesn't seem to have much of anything aside from that. And I imagine that, um, that, uh, Rael's anti-magic spell doesn't protect against sleep. I assume it's more of a damage prevention sort of thing. I'm not gonna worry about waking him up this time. Boss is almost dead. You can poison the boss? Oh, that's awesome. I love it when you can poison boss bosses. Because it's like during regular battles, it's usually not worth it. Poison one enemy, that would probably go down after a couple more hits anyway. But against a boss fight, that chip damage turns into really big damage. That's one of my favorite things whenever I was playing um, 
Despiteful dead on RG Maker 1. A lot of the bosses you could poison, and that was so helpful. As far as regular enemies goes, poison would be... I'd, I'd be more inclined to use poison if uh, against regular enemies if poison was an AoE spell. That is, you could cast it against all the enemies on the field. Almost dead. I'm surprised that that wasn't it. Just use regular attacks. Wow. Um. Just in case. I thought he was almost dead. I was wrong. Oh, that woke Ray all up. You know what? Not taking any chances. This guy apparently has a little bit more HP than I expected. Go all out. There he goes. Piece of cake. Aw, Rael missed out on the level up. Alright, Fullman's Blade, Thief's Luck, Poison. Oh, that's gonna be fun with the next boss. Assuming the next boss can be Poison. You got nothing. You got Berserker. It's nice to see that we're getting some new stuff now. Uh, a few things. All right, I'll neutralize the sigil. Um, I'm assuming that's the neutralized special effect because they didn't really th freak out over it. Well, let's get back to the governor. Oh, right. New spells. One of them I apparently won't be using a whole lot anymore or at all. Let's see, mana evasion, that's what he just learned. Poison, spell that applies poison to an enemy, just one enemy, so I probably won't use it. This, on the other hand, a spell that raises fortune by an extreme amount for 10 turns. Fortune is, I assume, luck. What luck does, I'm not sure. Critical hits, maybe? By an extreme amount, this definitely sounds helpful. You can get nothing. And Berserker. A spell that makes an ally go berserk. I would have to hope that a berserk ally gets their attack increased by some amount. Now before I go to town, maybe I'll go ahead and find out how much more damage we're talking. See if I can get into a random encounter. Because I haven't gotten into a random encounter out here. A flying beetle. You use regular attacks. And everybody else should probably heal so I don't die while I'm experimenting. Except you. You use this new special. Berserker. On rail. Normally 117 damage. Let's see what that does. Everybody guard. Two hundred twenty-two damage. So it doubles the their attack power. It looks like it's not bad. Hey, Lantis. I don't know when you left, but uh, you missed the boss fight. I imagine there's going to be more monsters out here, but I can fight them whenever I go to wherever my next de destination is. Alright. Is there going to be a plot twist, or am I just going to say, be told, hey, let's go to the next place? So, you've completed the task? 
Yep, a sigil was there, so we neutralized it. Nothing will happen to Destiade. I imagine A is supposed to be capitalized. An A sigil. Excellent. There is something that I may want to show you. What is it? You'll see it when you get there. Aeolies, please escort them to the special room. Yes, father. Okay, well, if the daughter's involved, I'm gonna go ahead and trust him. Why does she look so familiar? It feels like I'm looking at somebody I've lost before. I was right! There is a plot twist! Not sure what it is, but there is one. It's like Sonus. Why do I have the feeling that I've met these people before? Maybe you've had met these people in that dream in the beginning of the game. Wanted to bring this up later, but I'll bring it up now. There wasn't really a whole lot to hook you into the game. You just had a loud noise that a, from a dream that we didn't get to see. I was kind of wondering why we couldn't see the dream, but maybe the reason we couldn't see the dream was because some of these people were in it. That would kind of spoil things, I guess, if we saw the dream. Rael, come to me, my child. Oh, speaking of that dream. Hello, ghost sitting right down here. That voice from my dreams. Soon you will understand the painful truth. Rail, are you coming? Oh, yeah. Follow me to the Destiade Court. Alright. Follow Aeolus. She'll show you to the secret room. Yay, secret rooms. Saving just in case. I am thankful for the ability to save anywhere. Oh, it's a mini sigil. And one of those emblems up there that was also by the sigil that we just dealt with. Um, I assume you're just going to stand there until I step on the sigil. Should I step on the sigil, or should I wait until the next episode? Alright, Red Eye, without spoiling anything, is this going to transport me to, like, a dungeon or something? Simple conversation. Okay, good. Is this... a passage gate? Yes, this is Passage Gate 22, one of the many gates that leads to the Great Land of Aura. You're saying that the Governor is allowing us to freely travel to... Xperia. The Governor has a lot of problems to take care of. One of them is trying to prevent the collapse of the world. Yeah, that's a pretty big thing to be dealing with. Tomia, the past has already come to haunt me already. Oh, uh, we got foreshadowing. Nils apparently has a history. The governor entrusts us to find a way to stop something? My father is predicting a massive catastrophe happening to Geisos. Geisos. Jesus. In fact, most cities of Assyria know about the collapse of Tomia. Word travels fast. He wants you to research on what is coming. He wants you to search for a certain prophecy in Xperia. I believe there is a city known as Chrysalis nearby the entrance of Xperia. You should go there and start your journey. A city of Chrysalis, entrance of Xperia. Is Xperia a continent? Another world map? If this will make up for everything that has happened to Tomia, I'll do it. We'll await your return, travelers. Okie dokie then. Geisos. 
I'll write that down later. An alternate dimension. Good luck to you all. I wish you all a safe journey. I had to talk to them because I knew they would say something different. Well, the mayor's daughter isn't super important, but she is slightly important. Alright, so... Right behind this mini sigil... Is another world that we'll be traveling to. Naturally, I'm not going to travel to that world right now. I'm going to wait until the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, like, comment, or subscribe. A little friendly attention can help bring me even more. And for even more Let's Playing goodness for myself and from others, check out rbgmag.com. I'm going to, um, let's see, it's 12.35, I don't know how what's going to happen later on, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this stream here, and we'll continue this next week. I mean, you basically said two more towns and a dungeon, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that in a half hour. Plus, me and Lantis and some others are about to record the next race on RGM Mag, or not RGM Mag, on Lantis' channel, which you should all visit. Anyway, thanks for joining me. It's gonna be fun next time, I assume? Question mark?